Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Up Session channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Eternal Melody Style box mod that I got from GearBest. GearBest sent me this for review, thank you very much. If at any time you're interested in this particular box mod, I went ahead and provided a link below in the description box and it could be had for $47.86 with free shipping. Now this is obviously a wood mod. <laughs> it's temperature control. It's also variable wattage control. It could go up to 40 watts and it has an OLED screen. Let you see that real quick. We'll be taking a closer look here very soon. And it you're not going to buy it for the specs because, of course, there are more powerful mods with all these features that can cost the same or a little less. The reason you get this, or the reason I know that I got this, is because it looks really, really cool. This is zebra wood, and it also comes in rosewood or walnut. So you can choose what type of wood that you like. And to me, it looks retro. It looks... Um, kind of old-fashioned. You know, it's uh, even maybe it'll, some might consider steampunkish, and I, I love that style, and and that's absolutely why I got this. It just looks very nice. Now I did use the word style. That's code for it's a clone, of course, because you're getting it for forty-seven dollars and eighty-six cents. So. Now we need to determine if it's worth that. So let's go ahead and take a close look. Here's the box that it came in. It has a, like a magnetic little holder right there. Just came in there. Nothing fancy. It has some good information on the back that we'll go over here in a second. It also has a manual and it comes with a past inspection card right there. <laughs> so on, on the box right here it states that this is a 1 to 40 watt adjustable power output. 9.9 .9 volts maximum and a 1.0 volt minimum. It's also temperature control. It has reverse battery protection and that battery is a single 18650 that you put on the bottom and it has short circuit protection and it has step up step down capability. As far as any other specs here that the box might have missed I see here that the atomizer range is from 0.1 to 2 ohms. It also will hold a 22 millimeter device on top, tank or uh, dripping thing, because you can see there's like a cutout here in the wood, and that is for 22 millimeter and it just screws on like that. I chose the Harvest tank because I thought it looked good on it as far as the whole retro kind of look. I think it looks good, but of course that is a matter of opinion. So on the top, besides that cutout, you have a, like a brass 510 threaded top here with some air channels. Inside there you have a 510 pin that's adjustable. And that is the top. <laughs> Nothing on this side. On this side you have a button. Probably one of the best fire buttons I've come across literally forever. This is an awesome button. I love this button. Just the right tactile feel. It's perfect. It's, and it has no rattle, no movement at all. It is tight. I love it. And, and the pressure to, to fire it is perfect also. Now you also have some buttons right here, and that's your select buttons to go up or down. Like in this case, it will go up and down in wattage. Now you can see I was at the limit of 40 watts right there. If you keep on going, it will round robin back down to the 1 watt. And, that, and right now it's in temperature control. You can see I have it set for 350 degrees. It may focus one day. There we go. You could also see that it shows the battery and the ohm of the atomizer. This works just like all the other ones. You click it five times and then you hold these two buttons and then 
it, it will take you into where you can change the temperature and if you go all the way up past 600 degrees because the temperature range is between 200 and 600 degrees Fahrenheit and you click one more up from that and it will turn it off and you'll be in regular variable wattage mode. As a matter of fact I'll go ahead and just demonstrate it. One, two, three, four, five. You can see it locks right there. Then you just sort of press and hold these two buttons and you can see how um, it's asking it says hold for temperature let me do that again there we go and you can see how I could adjust the temperature right there I'm gonna leave it 350 degrees again I could go all the way up past 600 then the next step up it basically just turns the temperature control off and you're in variable wattage mode alright so then we got to bring it back alive we just hit it five times and now it's back to a normal functioning device in this case it's 40 watts 350 degree temperature control mode on the bottom you have a nice brass screw type of cover you use a coin to screw it out put it in you put the 18650 battery positive side up toward the top and uh, close it up <coughs> excuse me and there's the bottom now here is my first con with this device you can see this is sticking out just a little bit it's all the way in and it's not being um, held out by the battery it, it actually that's as far as it'll screw whether the battery's in there or not so this sticks out just a little bit I don't know if this is with all of them or just mine so it, it's not flush however I was actually thinking about putting some felt feet on the bottom of this anyway because uh, I just don't like wood on things you know directly I, I like felt so I might put some felt on the bottom of that so I'm gonna go ahead and screw my harvest tank on here and it'll probably pr prompt me whether it's the same atomizer or not let me see if I can let that focus just a little bit there we go I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew that real quick and then screw it back in Oops. I want you to see that prompt and I didn't have it focused so um, all right there we go and it says to new coil on <laughs> and I can't read it because I'm showing it to you in the camera all right let's try this again new coil on same down is what it says so um, I'm gonna say it's new coil on so then you would hit the up button which is toward the atomizer so we'll click that and what it's doing is it's measuring the ohms and it's zero I'm sorry yeah 0 0.26 ohm is what the um, nickel uh, I can't get the words out atomizer that's in here so 40 watts 350 degrees we're gonna go ahead and test this out and see how well it vapes by the way there's some other features in here but I don't wanna um, go through and make this an extremely long video but you could put this into stealth mode you could also flip the screen if you want it uh, one way or the other and there is also a power lock mode so I think that is all the features and also the uh, screen will also display things such as resistance too low or too high or if you have a short or if it's getting too hot or your battery's getting too weak you know things like that all your normal alerts can be displayed on the OLED screen all right yep I burped on camera <laughs> let's uh, go ahead and try it out now that is a very respectable vape for temperature control you know nothing too fancy just a harvest tank and uh, regular juice and it's only 350 degrees um, I'm gonna let you actually see the screen there as it's doing its temperature control thing right there so you can't see it's controlling stuff it's not letting it over heat that is freaking crazy now I'm gonna do it at you and I'm not being disrespectful I just want you to see the vape
There you are. <laughs> it's, uh, it works really good. And, you know, it's only 40 watts. Just keep that in mind. But it looks so freaking awesome. Now, I've been uh, using this for about a week now. And there's only one thing. Well, I, I, I explained the bottom thing. So, you know, if that really bothers you. Um, the other thing I noticed that when it does, it, if you just sit it down, it's going to go to sleep. You know, the OLED screen will go out and it will go to sleep. And when you first pick it up and you hit the button, it doesn't go. And it takes like a second for it to wake up. And then it works. When it first happened to me, I'm like, oh man, this thing broke and I've only had it for a day. What's going on? And um, no, it, it just needed to wake up. And then when it wakes up, it goes. So I know there are other mods that do that. Some people find that extremely annoying so I am letting you know because that's what I do here on my channel I let you know all the good all the bad stuff you can see right there I went to sleep so if I hit the button see how it's sort of delayed for a second so it's waking up so it does that you know <laughs> okay do I recommend it oh yes I do because you know what after everything is said and done it still looks cool and I still love the looks and that's why I got it and if you're someone who is about looking good with your mod, with your vape, that is. <laughs> Alright, so again, if you're interested in this box mod, temperature control and variable wattage control, looking cool in wood, uh, this is zebra wood, also comes with walnut and rosewood. Go ahead and look in the description box below. There's a link to GearBest where, again, you can get it for $47.89, and that includes shipping. I also uh, provided some of the specs uh, down there just so you could look at them if you didn't understand the words coming out of my mouth. All right, well... Thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope, I really hope that you have a great day. Take care. Bye.